Okay, so we're going to open up Movie Studio Platinum 16. And let it open up. There's a box going to open up. We're just going to close out of this. And if it asks you about an update, you can just say update later. And we're going to go Project, New, and we're going to have DVD, DVD NTS widescreen. Make your project name your name and photo montage. And then select Browse and find your H drive and the folder that you made for this project. So mine's Covered Bridge and hit OK. Now your project's going to save to the same folder. And then click OK. And then we're going to go get our media. So there's an Add Media button. We're going to click that. And we're going to find that media. So we're going to find it where we put it, which was in my H drive, sixth grade, covered bridge. And we're going to select all these photos here. So we're going to get every one of them. If you hit the top one, you hold Shift key down and hit the last one, it's going to get all those and then say open. It's bringing them all into place. And then we want to be able to look at a picture for at least five seconds. So if you uh, take this picture and drag it into text, what it's going to do, this is the text channel, picture and picture and video, they're all actually videos. And you click on that, you're going to see that that's what your image looks like. If you were to drag this, and I'm just zooming my mouse right now, if you were to drag this down to picture in picture, it's going to be a reduced size because it's used for picture in picture, like a newscast with a picture next to a newscaster. So you're not going to want to use picture in picture. Or you can put it in video. Okay. And then what I would probably recommend you do is place this first picture, maybe about somewhere between five and ten seconds over. So like seven and leave yourself room for a title that we can do later And you can see this picture if you click on it is going to play for or is it where is it listed it should tell me uh, Like five seconds or something um, We can tell how long it's going to play. I'm going to delete that by going to options preferences video and There's something called new still image length Let's see here. No, it's under editing. Sorry. New still image length, five seconds. Now, if we want each video or each picture that comes in to be longer, we could bump this up. We could make them a little bit longer, like seven. And that way, if we overlap them, we'll have a little bit more time to do that. So we can apply that, hit OK. And now when you drag that picture down here, it's going to actually be on here for a longer period of time. So we'll just place that one here. You can see what it looks like. And then if, if this is the next one we want, we could place it next to it. Now, if you watch this video and you play it, it's going to play the one. And then it's going to play the next one. Now, it's not going to look super high quality. Don't let that worry you. Because it's just giving you a low quality version of the image until we render the video at the very end. So it's fine. This is called a jump cut when it moves from one video to the next. And it's kind of abrupt. And so we're going to make this look professional and smoother. So what you can do is you can drag this image and you can see how much it's going to overlap. There's one second. Here's um, 115 is actually a half of a second because there's 13, I'm sorry, there's 30 frames in every one second. So that's like a fraction 15 over 30 or one half of a second. And you can see when you go up to 25, 26, 27, 289, then it jumps to two seconds. So I'm going to do like one and a half seconds here and now watch it. It's going to cross fade from one to the other. So it's a little more smooth, a little more subtle. And then you can drop your next one in. You don't have to put them in this order. You can do whatever order you want. Put that here, drag it over, same amount of time. And you're going to have a little more drag control. If you're zoomed in a little bit more, you'll have a little more precision. There you go. 
Now, if you want a different transition, now this little X represents a transition. There is a transitions tab with many, many transitions. It's loading here. And you can kind of see what they look like. Some of them are too wild for me, but if you wanted to use one of these, you could drag that transition onto the overlap. And it's going to actually open up another window with a lot of different choices. You can change a lot of things on here or just accept it the way it comes in. Now it's going to give you a fancier transition. You can see how it's going to do that. Okay. Um, you're going to add all 15 to 20 images on there and you're going to save it. So make sure you're uh, going save as to check that it's going to your covered bridge folder or the name of your folder. It's called the correct file. This is a VF file, just like SketchUp is an SKP file. And then click save. Okay, so add all those in and then you're ready for the next step.